Welcome to this tutorial series introducing you to projection mapping in Resolum. This series is aimed at complete beginners. It will cover everything you need to get started projection mapping in this powerful piece of software. By the end of this series, you will know how these techniques can be applied to the real-world project of mapping a five-tier wedding cake. This video will be a very general introduction to Resolume software for beginners. I will explain the difference between compositions, layers and clips and take you around the user interface. For those who are brand new to this software, Resolume is aimed at VJs, that stands for video jockeys, audio visual performers and video artists. Like a DJ's decks are a kind of instrument on which he or she can mix and manipulate music, Resolume is like an instrument that lets you do the same for video and all types of media and effects in an interactive, real-time way. One of the most powerful aspects of Resolume is the way in which it enables users to control how their visual media is outputted. This output might be to one big LED screen or several screens, or to a projector or several projectors. Projection mapping describes the process of outputting your media to one or several projectors, but more specifically it involves using the software to move and distort that output by eye so that it looks like it conforms or sticks to the surfaces of a physical object. This object could be anything from a wall, to a sculpture, to a theatre set, to an entire building, or in our case, a cake. I will be using the demo version of Resolume Arena 6.1, which you can download for free from Resolume's website. I'd recommend following along with this tutorial if you can. A limiting feature of the demo is both a visual and an audio watermark, which interrupts your work periodically. It's a little annoying, but I hope it doesn't impact this tutorial too much. Click on the Resolume icon to open the application. What you will probably see is this example composition containing some sample clips. It can look daunting at first sight, but we'll quickly go around the interface and talk a little bit about the panels we're seeing and what they contain. But first, right off the bat, I'd highly recommend spending a moment to have a play around. Trigger some random clips in the deck by clicking their thumbnail and you'll see what happens. You can also trigger entire columns by clicking the column headings. You'll soon get a sense of what Resolume's all about. Click on the X's on the far left of each layer to eject the clips and stop them playing when you are done. First it's important to understand some basic principles about how a Resolume project is structured. Everything inside this window represents your composition. Your composition is your entire show, your whole setup, containing clips, effects, parameter settings and shortcuts, everything. Because it takes a while to load up a composition, it's not something you want to be doing multiple times during a show. Instead, you can work from a master composition and organize your clips into different decks, which are accessible via these tabs. This enables you to sort clips by theme or function and keep them separate from other decks whilst remaining accessible at the click of a button. These thumbnails represent clips. A clip is what Resolume calls any media file, not just a video. A clip can also be media like a still image or an audio file. Each of these rows is a different layer. If your entire composition could be likened to a painting on canvas, then the layers are the coats of paint. At the bottom you start with a blank canvas. Layer 1 is the first coat of paint we put on. Layer 2 is painted on top of layer 1, and layer 3 on top of that. You'll see that when I click on the thumbnail of a clip, it plays in my output monitor. This shows me what is being outputted for all my audience to see. If I click the text label of the clip slot, the clip will be loaded in my preview monitor. The clip being previewed is visible only to me, and you can use this to play around with the settings of your clip to get it looking exactly the way you want it before outputting it for everyone else. 
You can change the arrangement of the preview windows if you're not happy with the layout. Click the Monitor Setup button next to the Output Monitor, represented by a little cog icon. The monitors are currently set to above each other. You could select side by side. This works best if you click on the name of the Output Monitor panel and drag it to its own section of the interface. In my case though I'm being told it doesn't fit, but it would on a larger monitor. Picture in Picture puts a small preview monitor on top of the output monitor. This arrangement helps save space. You can also choose not to see the preview monitor at all. If you want to revert to the standard interface at any time, you can go to View, Layout, Default. Now we understand the difference between a composition, a layer and a clip, these panels should make more sense to us. These settings apply globally across the whole composition. If at any time you want to revert a slider back to its default, right click on it and it will reset. In the Layer tab, we can control settings that apply on a layer basis. I'll create a new clip using one of the free sources that comes packaged with Resolume. This will help us see the changes we make to Layer 2 more easily. Make sure Layer 2 is selected and change some parameters. Notice how the changes only apply to Layer 2. The Layer Opacity can be adjusted by using the Layer Opacity slider marked with a V for video on the left. It determines how much you can see through clips on this layer to the clips underneath. Remember you can right click on the slider to reset a slider to its default value at any time. By default, Layer 1 is set to 100% but all other layers are set to 50%. Use the A slider to fade the audio in and out. Use M to fade both video and audio. The B button bypasses the layer from the mix and prevents it being displayed. S solos the layer and makes it the only one visible in the mix. Each layer has a blend mode. These are listed below the layer name. Blend modes dictate how the layer's pixels interact with those below. To go back to the analogy of painting on canvas, blend modes are like painting with wet paint and each blend mode represents a different way of mixing the paints together for different looks. By default, the layers are set to the Add Blend mode. This means pixel values are added on top of the ones below it. I won't go over all the blend modes here. Very briefly, some blends will lighten the mix, blend modes like Add, Lighten and Screen. Others will darken the output, like Subtract, Darken and Multiply. Multiply lets you use a layer to selectively block out parts of the layer below. Where Layer 2 has white pixels, Layer 1 will show through. Where Layer 2 has dark pixels, Layer 1 will not show through. I'd recommend you spend a while experimenting with these. In the Clip Properties panel, the settings we change only affect that clip. Let's Alt-Drag on the text label of the clip slot to duplicate it and drag it to another slot. If we change the scale of the circle in its Clip Properties, notice how the other circle stays the same. Over here is our browser. It can display up to five tabs, slices, files, compositions, effects, and sources. If you can't see some of these tabs and you want to access them, make sure they are toggled on in View in the Browser Panel section. The Files tab is similar to File Browser in your operating system. You can use the drop-down to navigate to different drives and folders to locate your files. or search. 
You click the heart to add a location to your favourites to access it quickly in the future. It will be listed under favourites in your files drop down menu. You can visually locate a clip using the previews tab which displays your files with additional file information including a thumbnail. Simply drag from the browser to the empty clip slots. Dragging to a clip slot that is already occupied will make the new clip take the place of the old clip. You can rearrange clips by dragging name handles in this way. You can select multiple files by holding Shift or Command on a Mac, Control on Windows, and drag multiple clips to the deck. They will order themselves horizontally left to right. If you drop multiple clips over a column heading, they will arrange from bottommost to topmost. You can also drag content from your file browser on your operating system into Resolume. If you're new to Resolume, say hi in the comments. What are your goals for learning Resolume? Do you have any questions? Let us know down below. If this video helped you, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.